Hello, Mario. In this video, 06, template 5, we're going to look at putting the text and the logo, if we've got time, into the template. So back to the template, and here it is. So let's just uh, drop it down here and get some things going in here and a little bit of text. Um, and we'll get the sample one here, which I think is that one there. And that in there like that. And uh, let's try and get that in there like so. And, oops, it's 100. Here we go. Okay, so in here with text, the minimum size text that we want to use is two millimeters. And we probably need to just put that in a layer. So I'm going to just create a layer here, new layer, and uh, just click on there. And I'm going to call it A2 template text like that there okay and we're going to put all that in in that layer so we'll make that the current layer which is what we've done and we'll get rid of that and that's all all good there and we're going to go into here now let's just have a quick look here we want revisions date description initials so just to, uh, we need to trim that out of there for a start. TR. Enter, enter, and we get rid of that there. Okay. And text, there is a text little box here, but annotation has a more comprehensive sort of text box, and the text that we want to use is probably single line at this stage. And then we've got a choice of different ones. So probably want to use the, uh, I'm going to go with the annotative one there. Not that we'd need to use that in paper space, but so let's have a bit of a look at, uh, look at the annotative text, manage the text styles, and this is annotative, and the font that I prefer there is Arial, and the paper text height, I set that to 2, so that I know that whatever text I do is going to be at 2. Most of my text is 2 millimeters high, um, and it's, it's, it's annotative there, um, but it, it, um, at this stage in paper space, that's not going to matter because everything is um, in millimetres in paper space anyway. It doesn't, um, for this sort of purpose, doesn't really work uh, to, to scale as such. Um, so that will be the text two millimetres high. So that's fine for in here. Um, we will revisit that later on. So... Uh, let's just um, again see what we're trying to achieve here. And we want revisions and then date, description, initial. So just give me more size here. So I just go single line and just type in round about there. And now there's a little button down here, this one here, the ortho button, that just makes things always go at 90 degrees. So let's go revisions. Uh, caps lock, R-E-V-I-S-I-O-N. Revisions. So that can go there like that. That's all good. Okay, so let's just put that in there. And then in here, let's uh, have another single line text. And let's just go in, in, in here, single line text. And let's just put in there. Now what I might do is turn off the object snaps so that we can get closer to lines and things of that. And I'm just going to line that up there. And that will be date. Okay. But it's lowercase. Date. Yeah. And let's just have a um, quick, uh, quick look here again. Um, description initial. So let's go back to here. 
um, description. Description. So once that's done, I can then actually come over here and initial I N I T L. So if I just double click out there or just escape, 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 now I can start to sort of line these up. So I can just put that in there and um, if I turn off this uh, ortho mode, that gives me a bit more freedom as well. So I'm just going to sort of estimate that there like so. If I wanted to get them all the same height, I could just quickly put a, a, a um, an X line, a horizontal X line in there like that. So just just help to line things up a little bit. Okay, and then I can delete it when I've finished. So there's that one there. I can just move that if I want. So I can just actually move and just click anywhere and that gives me like so. And this one here, right click, move. Oh, control Z. Control Z just undoes everything. This one here. So I can just grab it there like that and uh, put it in there like that. And in fact, if I turn the little snaps on, it'll it'll snap onto that line, which makes it quite nice and handy. And then I can just estimate that there. So that looks pretty good to me. And so I'll just delete that line now. I've just used it as a construction line. Delete. And let's just check that they're all in the uh, A2 text. So that's, that's looking pretty good. All right, so let's just have another look at what we're going to do next. Notes, just down in under there. Okay, so let's put notes in there and project title. Okay, so notes come in here. So again, single line text. Can just go in there, and about there. Uh, I think that was in caps, wasn't it? N O T E. Yes, and it usually has a colon. Okay, I'll just, uh, just check that. Notes here, yeah, no colon, no punctuation. The look of it. So let's just, you know, make an exact uh, copy. All right, so that needs to just be moved around a little bit. Um, so we can either use move or just grab it. I like the move sometimes quite handy. You can just click anywhere really and then that just gives you a little base point and you can move from there you don't want to get too close to lines because it cause things to clog up and then under here I think we have from memory project title so just click click on that um, uh, here we is here um, project title North Point, drawn by, checked by. Um, okay, so in here, um, project title. Uh, another way that you can do it so you get things positioned the same is just to uh, click on there, so on that there, right click, um, or just CP, which is copy, enter, and then it asks you for a base point. So that go there like that so now I can put uh, something in there like that um, I can get a lot of these little bits of text just put in as notes I can't quite remember what that one is so it's just hooking onto there so it's just writing notes everywhere um, quite know what was in there um, and we'll, we'll just see um, I can always delete them like so like so, like so, like so. So that's just got them in there, and then we can go in and edit them. So this one here would be, like double click on that, and that would be uh, project title, like so. Okay, so I'll just have a quick look here, um, or here actually. Easier uh, notes project title is actually below there. North point drawn checked by drawing title graphic scale. Um, I might just create uh, bring that there like that. That over there. Um, 
there. Um, no, that's not quite the right one. Okay, no, it's, um, oh, oops, Z, enter, E, enter. Z, enter, E, enter, skip that back. Project title. Um, drop this down here like this. Uh, over here. So that's project title. Uh, this one here is drawn by. So that'll be drawn by. Okay, this is checked by. Checked by. Uh, over in here, we want North Point. So um, what we'll do here is CP copy. That can go there. And then we'll go in here like that. Drawn by. So, oh, so that needs to be North Point. Okay, like so. Alright, then we come down to. Now, have I got that? I'm just looking there. Project title. Yeah, that's going to go there, and then we're going to put the logo in. Um, oops, we're up to 12 minutes already. So, um, what I'll do is uh, I'll get all of that. Um, sorted before we do the next one so i'll finish all the text off and then we'll um in the next video because we're up to 12 minutes now um well in the next video we'll have a look at uh, getting the logo in and the north point and that should be um pretty much it at this at this point um in terms of the template and then we can um carry on from there so Cheers. See you.